guys what's up i'm back with a really quick video i don't want to take too long with this there, there's no reason for this to be a long video right but um i want to share some information with you and it is the army's new combat boot so this information is brand new hot off the press maybe just a week old but uh, what's going on? So Big Army is field testing one of four prototype boots. Right now, this prototype boot has made its way to training units at Fort Linderwood, training units at Fort Jackson, and some infantry units at Fort Bliss. And while the soldiers are wearing this boot, they want to get feedback. They want to get some information. Hey, what is up with this boot? Let us know. So, before I show you a picture of the new boot, uh, I just want you to not get confused and keep in mind that uh, with the boots that are sold at clothing and sales, those are like aftermarket boots, right? I'm talking about the Army's new standard issued combat boot, meaning that day one, basic training private, this is, this is the new boot that they're going to get, right? So, let me pull up a picture of the boots they're getting now. So this is the standard issue boot that the privates are getting now. And then let me show you a picture of this new prototype boot. All right, bam, there we go. So uh, right now, your first look at the boot, I want you to put a comment in the box. You know, what is your first impression? Hey, do you like this boot? Do you not like it? Or it just looks weird? Or I think it looks great. But there's a lot of features with this boot that stand out that uh, I can tell that they're getting pretty smart at. So, look at the tongue of the boot. There's these holes that are running down halfway of the tongue. And I'm pretty sure that's for to help the boot um, to air out or to ventilate and maybe reduce sweating of the person's foot and if you look across here we got some reinforced hide leather it looks like if the wearer ties down on the laces it adds more uh, support to the wearer's ankles and then going up a little bit further this, this looks like there's more padding uh, around the person's leg we got some breathable material running around the sides. And then uh, one, one big thing that I noticed with the boot is it's got this divider, this, um, this stitching that is going across um, like the person's toes. And it looks like at the front, at the front of the boot, it's raised a little bit higher than the rest of the boot, uh, giving more room for the person's toes, right? So those are the features that I can tell right off the bat. Let me show you what um, the actual treads look like. Let me find a picture. And there's the treads of the boot, right? Treads, treads of the boot, uh, they look pretty standard. We can tell that they're made by Ultima. I think that's how you say that company. And the treads look really raised to where it takes a long, it's going to take a long time for them to wear down. Because one of the problems that um, I've seen with previous boots, uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the times the treads will get well, wear down pretty bad. But those are the treads of the new boot. Check them out. And, and that's pretty much, that's pretty much it for this video. But hey. Uh, new information I wanted to share with you. I thought it was a, a, a great topic to talk about. And uh, put your comments in below. What you know? Do you like about the, you know what's going on with this boot? Do you like it or or what's the deal? But uh, that's pretty much going to cover this video. And I will see you guys later. Bye.